Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been uh, Pierce County Sheriff's Deputy for just a little over six years, about five of it in the city of Lakewood. Late last year I was activated for a, about a year and uh, sent over to the Middle East to support the global war on terrorism. And one of the things that I did was because the department was so supportive, uh, I carried a U.S. flag into one of the countries I went into and brought it back and presented it to the police chief and it's hanging in the precinct. Where is he at right now? Northbound approaching 84th lane 2. I'll wait for you. Um, there's a vehicle up here. I noticed a driver from earlier. He's got a possible felony warrant. We contacted him earlier in the evening and he apparently lied to us about his name so we're going to conduct a traffic stop on him and see what we can come up with. 363 County Traffic. Parking lot of the B and I on Adam. I did. Here's the deal, man. Okay, we talked to you earlier. Yeah. Put your hands on the steering wheel for me. Okay. When my partner ran you, came back as no computer record. Then, okay, wait a minute. Let me talk to you first. Through further investigation, after we left you, records got a hold of him saying that you might be under another name, okay? So, what I want you to do is put the cigarette out, okay. and then we're gonna come out and we're gonna talk. All right, when you step out of the vehicle, keep your hands where I can see them and move to the back of the vehicle. Okay, okay come on back here. Okay. okay, turn around, turn around, put your hands on the vehicle. 30 feet for me, I'm gonna detain you right now. Okay. And then we're gonna find out who you really are. Let me have your other hand. Oh, you got an idea? Come on back here. Actually, you don't? Okay. I didn't lie to you. I gave you my name. You're talking about Darren. Is Darren your brother? That's your brother? Yeah. Okay. What's your first name? David. Okay, I'm still giving you the benefit of that. We're going to pull up booking photos and find out who you are. Okay? He's my twin brother. Your twin brother. Okay. We'll find out. If it's your brother that has the warrant, then we'll deal with it. The person matching the description of the warrant looks just like you with the tattoos. Hey, Joe. Yeah. Why don't you look at that picture on my computer screen? Did you have him tell me I one detained? No, go ahead. 363 County, one detained. You want to take him back there and just take a quick look? Yes, your warrant is confirmed. No, they are escape community custody. Have a seat in here for a second. Wait a minute, hold tight here. Let's take a look out here. I know, I'm just going to sit down. Sit down. He says his brother. Okay, according to the warrant. Look at the mark. Okay, you're going to jail for felony warrant for obstructing a police officer. I'm Darren. You're Darren. So we're going to end playing this game now, and you're telling me that this is you. Okay, what's the deal? Man, I've been fighting, got my kids back. Did you know you had a felony warrant? No, I didn't. Who's that gal in the car with you? I don't know her name. Where Dave, did you... Dave just asked me to give her a ride. Where did you meet her at? At New York, Dave's. Okay. All right, watch your head. So much for having a twin brother. I'm going to talk to her again. Let's pull her out, put her on your bumper until we figure out who she is. I'm going to search the vehicle. Go ahead and turn around, put your hands behind your back. I'm just detaining you right now. Is there anything in the car that belongs to you that we should know about? Step back. You're not under arrest, you're just being detained until we figure out who you are. Okay? That's your purse right there, right? That's your cousin's purse? Are you telling me that because there might be something in there that shouldn't be? Like what? Go ahead and turn around. Have a seat. Turn around. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's a... We're going to find it anyway, so... I know. Go ahead. Tell me what's in it. There's a rig in there. Okay. Careful in the purse. Why? It's a rig. 
What? You get stuck with Anita, maybe. What? What do you have There's on There's a her? rig in there. Okay. Did she tell you that? Yeah. This one might be blank, I'm not really sure. No, it looks like there's a little bit of blood draw in there, so there's some type of material in there. There's probably some more stuff in here. John, I've got an ID on her, too. What did she give you? Let's see that one. I don't know if this is her or not. This looks a little bit different. Is that her? Looks Tracy. Oh, look, look at that, two different names. Same picture, two different dates of birth, two different names, two addresses. Talk to her real quick. Wait a minute. Here. Here's a. She's got one, five IDs under the same name. Different driver's licenses and different dates of birth. Each with a different booking number under, at the Pierce County Jail. So, this is going to keep. Just keep going. Come on out for a second. Hop on out. You want to talk to me about these? Well, it's not a joke because. I know, no, wait a minute, a stop. Please. Two of these IDs you actually have Washington State IDs for with your photo. I know. So it's not a joke. Know, okay, what's up with these? Those, me that. Okay, those are pretty good IDs. What's up with the rest of these? Do you have Washington State IDs under all these pictures? Because no, it sure looks like you do. Yeah. Why do you have multiple IDs? You trying to hide something? Do you have warrants for what? We'll find out. We'll be here all night. You failed BTC. You failed BTC, so you have felony warrants for failing BTC for what? What type of, what type of drug? Methamphetamine. Okay, how long have you known you had the warrant for? So, are any of these actually you, minus the photo? None of these. Not one of these is you. So, you provided false information originally, right? Okay. Okay. Well, if we confirm the warrant, you're going to be going down with your partner. That's going to go into evidence. So you're going to go for the warrant and for obstruction, just like he is. All right? Go ahead and have a seat. Watch your head. Well, she might get a couple years in the penitentiary for this, because she's failed the drug treatment. I think that was her final straw. So she's down that road, and he's already been down that road and neither of them know what to do to recover from it. So the cycle continues. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. Go ahead, give it to me. We'll take care of it. We're on our way to a residence. Uh... Apparently, uh, the homeowner there has found a snake in her closet, and uh, she's called us to come down, and I guess she wants us to help her get it out of the house, uh, maybe dispose of it for her, so we're going to head on down there. We're not too far away and see what kind of snake she's got cornered and see if we can't catch it and uh, dispose of it for her. You got a snake in your closet. Okay. You got you got a snake in your. He's in that whole closet. It's a baby. It's a baby black. It's, it's black and it's got orange and gold bands. Okay. All right. Do you he's need a, a towel or something? No. He's no. in there. He's right in here. Yeah. Can turn the whole light on. Okay. God love you guys. Where's he at? I don't know. He didn't, I just saw him sliver in there. You saw him sliver in? Yes. Okay. No, he's got to be in here somewhere. He's got to be in here somewhere. Do you need a glove or something? No, I don't think uh, so. It's just a baby. It's a beautiful snake, but I don't want his ass in my house. <laughs> well, how did you I notice him? I can't it? help it, Mom. Where, I'm freaking out. Where did you notice him at? Was, was he just, I mean, was he, was he coming through the hallway? No, he was coming from the kitchen and in the, in the there. All right. Oh, my God. But he couldn't have climbed up the wall already, could he? I don't think he would have climbed up the walls. We sure climbed up the steps. How else could he got in my house? Do you oh, think he, he could have slid underneath this back door? 
could have. Could have. Oh, I gotta get some kind of snake place, away or lots something. Lots of places he could have came in. He's not in your snake basket. Uh, I got my mom itching now. <laughs> I think where he probably went, there's a couple spots in here. I think he probably might have crawled down in the basement. Yeah, he might be down in the basement. Oh, please, little snake. Oh. I don't think the snake would have, would have, or could have climbed up the the wall there. So I think what he may have done is he may have gone down between the baseboards. There's a nice wide gap between the baseboard and the back here. You got a hammer? I could pull these baseboards okay. up for you real quick and check. So tell me, what, what were you doing? I was cleaning. I was rock and rolling. I'm um, getting my act together here. OK. And also? And I just walked through here and forgot I had to get something out of there. And this here I turned around and he curled right into that closet. I see him. Oh, God love you. I see his tail. Go now ahead. I see that the snake, I see his tail. He's curled up back behind his piece of baseboard. So I'm gonna have to take this other do what you piece do. of. All these woods around here, and he's gotta pick my cloth, find a home. Come on up, oh God, please. Okay, I don't see him. believe this tomorrow at work. Oh my god. They're not gonna believe it. Tell you what, let's go downstairs real quick. Might have crawled down in the basement. Yeah, he might be down in the basement. Oh my god, there he is. Where? Right there. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was that wire, that wire and it freaked me out. Sorry. All right, kind of freaking me out. You're going to all freak that. I'm sorry. It's all right. So the snake's buried himself. We actually did a pretty good number on the, uh, the closet with her permission to try and locate the snake. But so far, we haven't been able to find him. Um, I really am kind of kind of afraid to go make do any more damage to her to her house here i mean she was awful frightened about the snake i really would have liked to have got him well yeah i'm sorry we weren't able to find your snake especially after all the the damage we caused to That's your it's not a problem to your wall there but i'm calmer now i'm gonna go take my shower I got my cat, one cat at the edge of the bed, my dog, and I know I'm calmer now. I'm not afraid. I'll get him. Well, I'm glad as long of that. as he's not poisonous, I'll get him out. God love you. I'll give you a hug. You're welcome. You guys do a fantastic job. I appreciate it. Thank you. All righty. Okay. You take care. You too. All right? You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll be okay. Well, I feel bad for the, for the young lady because we tore up her whole closet and we weren't able to find a snake. Is he, is he's he? out. He's out. He's out. Look in the corner, in the corner, in the okay. corner, in the corner. I don't have my there flashlight. He there he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. You want this uh, wash rag? Or what uh, do you want to do? Isn't he pretty? Isn't he pretty? What is he? Here, put him I'm around not exactly my sure here. I got oh my god. Oh, I don't want to get careful. Oh, jeez. You want my toilet thing? Oh god, look at him. He's, he's wants to strike. Oop. Oh, be careful, please. Here you go. I got him. I got him. You got him? Okay, I'll yeah. get the door. We were on our way out the door after we uh, no, tore this young lady's closet out. all to pieces and weren't able to find the snake, and he decided to make an appearance as we were leaving. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind of snake this is. See, do you think, um, I've never seen one like that. He's a pretty little snake. Isn't he pretty? He's so just a baby. So what I'm going to oh do God, is... Oh, God, I was too wrong on the colors. I'm going to take too him wrong. outside, out into the, Where the, hell did I get the yard, and that? just let him go. Oh, this is unreal. There he goes. Oh, where is he going? 
Well, I'm glad you decided to come back out before oh, we left. Can you believe that? I was going in there and I was just going to think, well, what am I going to do? I'll, get, I'll get some of this dust up. And there he was, curled up. Well, it makes me, makes, <laughs> <laughs> makes me feel better after I tore your closet all apart that he finally came out we were able to get him. Oh, God, I love uh, you. Thank you. I like working on the crime response team over here in the East Division. We stay busy with felons. We're always dealing with drug dealers, some gang bangers every once in a while. The good thing is we're responsible for all the part one crimes in the East Division. And we don't have to take patrol calls so we can concentrate on what needs to be done and, and taken care of out here. OK, we're en route to a burglary prog progress. Uh, apparently, uh, as a citizen broke down, his truck was broken down the side of the road, and there's uh, some guys hanging around the truck trying to break into it, so we're going to go see what's going on. Supposed to be a couple of black males taking tires out of a pickup truck. OK, we're about to move in on this uh, vehicle with the guys. What kind of car land? Bulls about to pull out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right here, right here. Right here. One in the black, one in the black, one in the black. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get your hands Get up. Ground. Get your hands yeah. up. Get your hands up. Get out the car. Put them back. Get out the car. Put your car in park. All right, sir. Get on the ground. Get your hands behind your back. You got cuffs? Yeah. Damn. Don't move. Roll back towards me. Stand up. You want to stick him in a secure car? Please, sir. Please, sir. Please. We got them all. Hey, we got them all. I guess. Okay, these are the tires that the individuals attempted to take. Um, as you can see, they loaded them up. We got two in the back, one in the front. And they were going to, I guess, uh, make a nice little profit off of them. But uh, unfortunately, the police intervened, and we got them. So they won't be robbing anybody else tonight. That's good work. Tell me what was going on back there. Yeah, the dude told me if you use my car, he's going to pay me to pay me in full to get them rims. He told me he seen the dude when he pulled up. He was like, man, go talk, go talk to him. He said, I'll pay you in full. Okay. I said, man, I just got this car, man. You trying to get my car? So I'm, man, that's why I'm young, man. Money, I just, man, I just got a system in my car. Money rule the world, man. I swear to God, I got a job, a nine to five and everything, man. Money talk, walk. I swear to God. I don't sell dope or nothing. I smoke weed, sir. Right. I heard a good amount of price. The dude told me to give me five one hundred dollar bills, sir. I'm trying to but take. But you still went through with that anyway. No, sir. That's, okay. I, he took one of the rims just to make sure I wouldn't steal the car. Where's he? I don't know. I I never seen him. He talked me into doing it. Okay. Right over there. All Bought right. Bought me a six pack and everything. He was like, man, all I need is your car. I ain't got no car. Tell me he's calling the shop. Okay. I knew it had to be. Something Do you know cool. this guy? No, I don't know the guy. Five hundred cash. You don't got to know the dude. And right. a six pack. Right. Yeah. Well, you've just gotten yourself involved in a felony. Now we can seize your car. Now it'll belong to the police department. I worked hard for that car. I paid $1,000 cash. Well, you know what? <clears throat> Whosoever wheels those were worked hard for those, and you just stole them. So what do you think about that? Man. It's the same difference. We take your car, you take those wheels. Except we're doing it legally, and you're not. Can I, can I call my mama, man? Right now, you're going to go down on a theft charge, 1500 to 20000 which is a felony. You're going to have to go down to jail. You'll see a judge tonight. He'll set your bond and then you'll be transferred down to the Mansfield jail. We will be held down there until you can post your bond. Do you have somebody you can call? Yes, sir. My mom will stay right down the street on 4 day normal block. OK. Yeah, I was sitting right in front of my house a while ago. I knew something had to be up. Stick your feet in there for me. What we're going to do is put these tires back where they belong and uh, try to get in touch with the uh, registered owner of the vehicle. He probably He's probably not too far away, seeing that it uh, looks like his truck broke down. Pretty sure he'll be probably he'll be thankful that he uh, recovered his property. If we don't find the owner of the tires and the wheels and the pickup truck. We're going to take it down to the auto impound and uh, we'll hold it down there for safekeeping until he comes and claims it. 
What's the story? What story? The story with them tires that we and caught that you with. Too. Yeah, it is. You ain't got to sit up in that crazy with me, OK? For real. You got to act crazy. I ain't finna talk, yeah. man. I heard you saying he talk like a bird. I don't talk, man. I, I didn't say no. that. I heard it, man. You heard it? Yeah, man. OK. So that's, what you, that's the story you're going to stick with? The story I just That you said. sticking with? I ain't saying You ain't saying nothing. That's a good thing, though. Don't say nothing. Yeah. He the ringleader. His, uh, his buddy told him that it was his idea and everything, so it's all going on him because he won't say nothing to us. Thanks. Appreciate it. We had three out of the four tires were in the car, and then the second bad guy rolled this tire about halfway down the block behind this apartment building. He was, the deal that he made with the other guy was that he was going to keep this as insurance until he got all the wheels. So we'll go down here and take a look at that and recover that, get it back to its rightful owner. Here it is. Yeah, it looks like it's all intact, so I hope it's any. I guess he was going to possibly throw it over that gate where they have that hole in the wall. Yeah, it looks like these guys live in the complex, and maybe they've been scouting out this area and saw the guy broke down and walk away from his car, and they decided it'd be an easy grab, four wheels and tires. Now they just landed themselves in jail. Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I love the Northwest. It's great if you like doing things outdoor. We've got Mount Rainier right here and lots of lakes. There's the Puget Sound, lots of things to do outside. Of course, with uh, all the great green trees and everything comes all the rain we have. So we're big fans of Gore-Tex and hot coffee. That's going to be a traffic stop on the car up here. We're going stop to stop and talk to him about his vehicle registration here. Three, two, one, county traffic. OK, this guy's taking off. Three, two, one, county. We're going to be in pursuit. Eastbound 56. And we're going to be northbound on I Street. And we're going through an alley eastbound. Parallel to 56th Street, two occupants. Northbound on J Street. North, northbound from 54th. Passengers either they're trying to get out or bail. Westbound 53rd. Go northbound I Street. And definitely two occupants. Eastbound 52nd, permission to pit with speeds. So first dude northbound. He's on the ground! Please get down! That's passenger! Please get down the ground! Get down, give me your hands! Give me your hands! Put your hand behind your back! Put your hand behind your back! Give me your hand! Give me that hand! This one right here. Be careful of that hand. I'm Give me your hand. I'm trying to show you on my top. No, you let go, whatever. I don't have anything, sir. Yeah, Hispanic male, 5'6", uh, blue shirt, oh, okay. blue jeans. Can you send me with a gun for sure, sir? Let me see if you try ditching something right here. Sir, can you send me with a gun, sir? Hey, Tacoma. Can you stick with him? I'm gonna get back to the car, see what we got going on there. Uh, they told me if I didn't take off, he was gonna shoot me in the face. He had a gun up to my face, sir. 
I don't know yet. Tacoma's got my driver. I gotta get back to the car and see what's going on inside the car. <laughs> this is the car we tried to stop for expired tabs. They tried stopping to bail, got out of the car. It rolled into this car after they left. Pastor's still outstanding. Guys are looking for him. 3H1 County. In the car, there's a pair of speakers that look like they might be freshly stolen. Um, right now, don't really have anything for that outstanding passenger. We caught up, hit the lights. They pulled over just like it's going to be a normal stop. And then as soon as they made the corner, they, they, they kept going. Uh, no, I'll get one. That's OK. Let me, let me, if you'll get the tow, That's I'm going to ID this guy. This. And yeah, we'll take care of this. Hey, go ahead, listen up to me, okay? How old are you? 23 years old. 23, you speak English? Yes, sir. Okay. When we, when we stopped, sir, when I took off running, the guy had the gun pointed at me. I took off running, my sandals fell off. Is there any way you can walk me to get them? They're right, I think, down the corner. You know what? I'm going to stick you over here in one of these patrol cars, and uh, then I'll go about finding your sandals for you. I don't even know why I'm being good. He was going to shoot me. He was going to shoot you? So let me ask you this. After the guy with the gun went the other way, why'd you keep running from the police instead of turning around and saying, exactly. oh, oh help you. me, oh, help me? You. Didn't you hear police, police? No, sir. No? I was scared. He, so, was, he and kept that, sticking a gun in my The head. other guy, uh, he was Mexican, right? Yes. He kept sticking okay. the gun in my, in my stomach, sir. When we were driving, every time I tried to swerve. Don't mean to pick on you here, but do I have any accent whatsoever? So when I was yelling police, did you think I was that guy or me? Did you see me throw myself in the dirt, officer, sir? I saw you try and hide from the car, and as I came around the van, I saw you trying to crawl away from me. Tell you what, good news for you is this is day two on the job for me, so I was just lucky I found you. Why don't you head over towards that white car? You can lean right here if you want. Use that big black bar, there's a seat. Do you know about the warrants for your arrest? Mm -hmm. Do you know about the warrants for your arrest? No, sir. You didn't know about those warrants? You've been arrested for distributing narcotics before? No. Possession of narcotics? Mm. You have a warrant for that? No? I didn't know that. And those uh, $48,000 worth of warrants you got or just uh, somebody else? Have a seat there for me. They got a dog in the back seat. Feel free to run again if you want, but it didn't go too well for you the first time, right? It's going to go worse the second time, so I'd hang out right there if I were you. He's saying that uh, the passenger in the car was pointing a gun at him and was telling him not to pull over, and uh, he didn't realize it was the police that were chasing after him, apparently. We'll see if we can find the passenger later on. So we're going to take him to jail for felony eluding tonight. He's got $48,000 worth of assorted misdemeanor warrants, which in Washington State, $48,000 is quite a bit for warrants. Okay, myself and Officer Richardson are en route to a large fight uh, subjects armed with uh, are throwing beer bottles and rocks and one subject might be armed with a knife and we're about two blocks out we're gonna get ready and get out with uh, with officer Richardson here in a minute Get your arms out. He's down, Delmore. Two male whites, no shirts. 
I believe in jean shorts. Who they got? Michael? You're not under arrest. Go, go, okay. Where are they at? He ain't got nothing to do with it. I wasn't doing nothing but walking right through that alley. Get your feet up. Get your feet underneath him. Roll over on your butt. Sit up. Take feet underneath you. Sit up. What's going on? So why don't you tell us the truth? I come around right there. I seen all kinds of people running around. I had beef with somebody up there earlier, but that was like maybe 8.30. Beef up with who? I don't know his name. Some dude, he was uh making passes on my sister or whatever, and I didn't like it. She come and got me like... She told me what was going on, <clears throat> said that he tried to kiss her or whatever. He's 26, 27 something years old. Where's your sister at? Uh, she should be over there somewhere with my dad. My dad's right there leaning up against the pole. All right, partner, stand up. Stand up. Oh, walk over here. Stand right there. Face me. Here's your opportunity. Giving you the same opportunity to your buddy, all right? A 26-year-old who just kind of got out of prison had fondled his sister, was grabbing on her, kissing on her. I'm 20 years old. I'm grown. So Where was I, he coming from to come get you? Um, I don't know. He knocked on my my girl's door. I come out. So he just comes down, tells you there's a fight. Yeah, pretty much. Like I said, we're gonna go up there. And we're gonna get the truth. All That's right. Fine. I mean, I'm get back over there and sit down. What was going on up there? What up there? Yeah. Dude. Okay. He grabbed me and kissed me like four times, and I didn't ask him to. Okay. And I told my brother about it. My brother got mad, and so he wanted to fight with. Him. Okay. So whatever. I was gonna let that happen. And then. Uh, was that earlier tonight? Yeah, it was earlier okay. tonight. So what, what's going on up there now? Why we're here right now? Now I don't know. Our brother called his people's and they went up there. And then they was fighting and. Then... Did you go up there and finish the fight or what? Was no, going I on? went up there. I told him to stop because there was kids in the house that they was going to. There were seven kids up there in the house. I told him to stop for real, for real. And they just did what they did. All right, just hang tight right here. Okay. Yep. You mind stepping over here for me? What's going on? What, well, well, how did this all happen? All this happened, some girl named Jerrica come over. I was playing out, she sat on my lap, gave me a kiss. I figured, yeah, all right, you know, cool, it was chilling, go over here. You guys mind backing uh, up for me? She kissed it. me again, I kissed her back, she said, don't kiss me, I'm like, all right, you know. I come out here, I'm eating, and then uh, these people are like, hey, hey, this dude wants to talk to you. I'm like, well, I don't know who dude is, all right. So he comes up this way, we turn around this way, walking down part of the alley. I meet my family, I'm like, yeah, and he says something like, that was my sister. I was like, who, Jerrica? I was like, yeah. I was like, she's nice girl, I like her. How long have you known her? Uh, a couple of days. A couple of days, okay. I was like, look, man, if you really want to fight, I was like, we'll do this, but I'm telling you why. I was like, it's stupid. You're going to fight over her, some dumb I was like, you want to do it? Let's do it. Tell us how or when that you got into your... When was, I was inside. No man, what I was doing, all I heard was somebody run through here. Yo, 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 there's a group of them coming, they're coming. And I, I start hearing things breaking, people throwing stuff at the house. So I walk outside, and my stepsister. Yeah. Is this your house? Okay. My stepsister is already at the gate saying, uh, uh, get out, get out of my yard. Da, 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 you know, going off the hook, telling them, get out the yard. So, and then all of us come around, and then it was like 20 of them. I so break down the gate, trying to climb over, trying to get through the gate. But that's basically what it is. They tore the down. That, they was all around the house, on that side of the house, this they side. Break the window all... with the chair or with the rock here? Good guess. It looks like the chair because the okay. leg print right here. The okay. leg's going in and breaking all of that back there. All right. The brick would have done so much damage. I think the brick might have hit down here or something. Wait for him to come in and I'd have, never mind what I would have done, but. Did they break the window first, or did they kick the door in first? The windows first. The windows first, OK. All right, uh, we didn't get everybody that was involved, but we got a good handful of them, OK? We've got, I believe, three adults went to jail, and two or three juveniles were arrested, incited, and taken back to uh, 
and yeah, taken back in the taken back to the parents and cited from there. Okay, okay, and hopefully you'll be able to chalk this up as maybe a lesson learned. You know, stay away from them young girls. Oh, I'll stay away. You know away what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. I work in District One uh, with a partner, Officer Dillinger. It is, I think, better to have a partner down here because we work in. B2 over the Rhine, which is a high drug, high crime area. There's a lot of robberies and shootings and guns and violence. Um, so it's a lot better to be riding around with two sets of eyes than just one. There's no stop sign there. Is that? We're in a high drug, high crime area. We're actually going to stop a truck. It's been stopping in and out of traffic, impeding traffic. Um, looks a little suspicious. We're going to check him out, see if maybe he got something. Another one. Yeah, he's, let's do it. He's nervous. I don't even know. It's a truck plate from, is that an Ohio plate? It's Indiana. It's is it Indiana? Spotting to District 3 for what? He's talking. Put your hands on the steering wheel! Who's that come back registration to? It doesn't give me a registration. I have to run that separate standby. Sir, you have ID on you? Put your window down. What did I do sir, wrong? Sir, sir, oh, I need your ID. Yes. Sir, you, you talk to me, okay? She's, oh, she's sorry, talking yeah, to him. You stopped at two different intersections where there wasn't a stop sign. Oh, I thought there were stop, I'm not from the city. There was no stop signs there, sir. Do you have a, is this a valid license or is this just an ID? That's just my ID. I got, yeah, I'm a valid driver's license. You have a valid driver's yeah. license. Do you yeah. have it on you? That, that is my valid driver's license. It says identification card. Do you have a driver's oh, license they, on they you? They told me that once before I need to get it put on that, but it's a valid ID. You can let me valid driver's license. Is this your truck? Yeah, it's yeah. my truck. Do you have proof of insurance? Yeah, I'm on my dad's insurance, yeah. Can, do you have it with you? I need to see that. What's, what's it, my insurance card? Yes, sir. I don't have it. It's on my dad's insurance. You're supposed to keep a card with you at all times, sir. You're getting cited today for impeding traffic. There was no stop signs the two times that you stopped. So you're also getting cited for obstructed plate. The reason is we can't tell what state your plate is. You can only see the numbers. you got to take that license plate cover off of there because we can't tell what state it is. Is there anything on you or in the car that I need to know about? No. I'm, Do you care not. if we check? No. Okay, step out for me. When you step out, put your hands behind your back. I'm just going to pat you down to make sure you don't have any weapons. You can lay your stuff on the seat there. Do you have anything in your pockets that's going to poker stick me? Uh, I don't think so, no. I'm sorry? No, I don't. You don't or you don't know? I don't have anything in my pockets, no. Okay. Why come you're checking me? I am patting you down to make sure you don't have a gun on you. Is there something on you I need to know about? No. Stop getting froggy on me, okay? If you continue to stay froggy, I'm gonna put you in cuffs. You got me? All right, I'm gonna ask you to come over here. Must you have a seat right there for me? Keep your hands out where I can see them. I pulled out a folded up piece of paper out of his wallet, and there's a few pieces of what looks like heroin. It's kind of, kind of brownish, a little more brown and different texture than crack. There's something in here. I got a baggie. Is it wet? No, it's not wet. I got crumbs too. Let's put them in. Whoa. Is there anything else in the car we need to know about? About what? Stand up for me. Is there anything else in the car we need to know about, no, sir? No, there's not. This way. Just so you guys know, there's substances in the car that look like controlled substances. Oh, That's what, why what you're in it? handcuffs right now. Let me show the rest of it. And and have, you're not reaching. And I have, I'm not reaching, but I have Xanax on me. Okay, turn around for me. Okay, you're not reaching. It's in this pocket. What pocket, guy? This pocket. The little pocket. No, it's right here. I take it. I take this for school because I don't. I have you're not prescribed it. I'm prescribed to Adderall, man. Okay, what all do we got here? What's the green Xanax. ones? That's Klodipin. What about this blue one? What's that? That's Xanax. Okay, you prescribed that? My friend gave me those. And Your I friend gave I you those? I don't know what these are. And I don't know what those are, and I'm supposed to you give them. You don't know what these I'm are? I'm supposed to give them back to him. Okay, so you don't know what these pills are? No, man. Okay. Is there anything else on you? No, man. All right. What do you want to tell us about what was in your wallet? 
or not. I didn't know there was nothing in my wallet. There was heroin in your wallet, sir. You told me you went to rehab. What did you go to rehab for? Not for heroin. For some, my parent, it was my parents' request for smoking weed a long time ago, two or three years ago. What's your deal then? Why, why did we find the white powder in the car? What is it? It's your vehicle. I can't. You can't tell? You can't tell us? Is that what it is? What's the deal? I don't, even, I don't do this. Well, as of right now, you're getting it's... taken to jail for drug possession. If you want to tell us the truth, we can, go, we can go from there. But until that point, it's... But if it's in my car, it's mine no matter what. Even if I got proof to go find a whole lot of it right now to the person who I did a favor for, for 30 bucks to drive her up here, 30 bucks just to drive her up here. Is that you, you were circling to try to go back and find? The, the, yeah, to go pick her back up. I don't even know the lady. She's an old lady. She lives down the road. He knows her. What's her I name? was picking her back up. He knows the name. I don't know the Does name. she have it on her I now? I've never met her in her life. Huh? Does she have heroin on her now? She's, uh, she's a whole crack and heroin. Okay. So she gave me $30. That I don't, she was going to do to get it, right? She's I, going to get her heroin I right now. I was driving up here for $30 to take, to take her up here and pick her up and bring her back. She lives around where I live. And then that's what I was doing. I was just circling around until I was picking her up, and she never came outside. She had a little bit of heroin before we went up there. Gave him, all of them to him and then just left or just left uh, the rest in the car. He's like, hold on, I'm going to park right here. She jumped out the stop sign, and that fair, whatever park it is, he's like, circle around, I'll be back in 15 minutes, and I'll just be standing right here. He's like, don't get lost. I'm like, I don't know my way around this area real quick. He's like, just look where I am right now, look at the park. He's like, this is exactly where I'll be standing. Sir, we appreciate your honesty, but you need to understand this doesn't take your charge away. You're still responsible for the heroin that was in your wallet, okay? Because you were honest, it's like I said before, we'll be more than happy to go in and tell the judge that you were being honest with us, but it's not taking the charges away. All right? We're going to do illegal prescription pills on him, yeah. the heroin on him. You know, this kid gets a phone call today, and, you know, he's trying to pick up an extra 30 bucks, and he doesn't realize he's bringing someone down here and going to pick up a, a felony drug charge. It's kind of sad. Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. It's satisfying when you help somebody with a particular problem and they genuinely are grateful and, and will tell you, officer, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You know, when somebody tells you that and, and it's, it's genuine, it's from, you know, it's from their heart, you know, that, that's what makes this job all worthwhile, you know, coming out here and, and helping somebody. Um, you, you don't do it for the glory, you do it for that moment when somebody says, thank you, appreciate what you did. And one of our officers just got a call about a hit-skip crash, and uh, we got information on a plate number. I'm running a plate number now, Let's see where it comes back to. Okay, I recognize this uh, individual. Uh, as a matter of fact, he lives right down the street here. I've had dealings with him before. Um, actually, we're going to run past the house here and see if the vehicle is uh, is at the residence. Um, and it's right up the street here. Nine top 41. Nine top 41. Put me out at Snowflake. I've got uh, nine top 32's uh, hit skip vehicle here in the driveway. Nine time 41. Nine time 41. I believe we're going to have our suspect inside. Uh, he saw me approaching the house and dashed uh, inside somewhere. Do you have uh, at least another unit so we can get the house covered in case he tries to make a break for it? No, I like 15. I'll start that way. Nine time 32. Uh, I see you pulling up. Uh, I'm over on the east side of the house. Uh, there's some commotion over here. He might be over uh, uh, on this side of the house. Stop! Stop! Right there! Stop! 
Don't move, don't move. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back or I'm going to get you again. You move one more time and I'm going to get you. You understand me? What did I do, man? What did I do? Turn over, turn over. Roll over, roll over, roll over. Lay flat on your belt. All right, time 41. We have one in custody. Lawrence, yeah. listen to me. Yeah. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against your court of law. All right. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed you by the court if you so desire. What did I do? Decide to answer questions now without an attorney. Pray. You still have the right to stop answering any time you speak to an attorney. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. This is all about you running into somebody over there on Niagara. Man, that boy ran into what you try to? What are you trying to climb out of the house for? Huh? Because, man, I see you pulling over people and all this crazy like this, man, and I ain't got time for this. All right, what do you want to tell us about the car? Hold still. All right, slowly walk him out to the car. What? So what happened with the car, Lawrence? Man. Tell us what happened. The boys just walking in the street. The car coming. I was going out the way. I, I was going, uh, I don't know, I guess we call that northbound. The car was coming southbound. There was a boy walking in the street. I slowed down because there was another car on the side of me. One boy walked over. Family walked straight into the car. Then dude was like, back up. I backed up a little bit. Dude got up. Then they started saying, and I left. I mean, he ran right into the car. Okay. Walked straight into it. I mean, I didn't know that. I mean, I thought it was all right and that, you know. Everything like that, they was like back up, you know what I mean? I backed up and it's a little friend picked up a shoe or whatever, but like that, and they then they walk walk back across the street and one of them was saying something, I'll f you up or something like that. And I just pulled off. I, mean, right. I don't have a cell phone on me or you know or anything like that, but like I said, well, if he, it was if he it, walked right into the car, I mean I I wasn't even driving. But I was if it all was the way stopped. But if it was a case of him walking into the car, that's why I thought. Why didn't you, Why didn't you stick around? Is it because you don't have a license? Yeah, and like I told him that too. But that's really not the point. But the point is that I thought it was all right. Like I said, I wasn't even moving, and you know I thought it was all right. Yeah, but the smartest thing to do, the smartest thing to do, would have been to wait for us. Yeah. Okay, we but come I over. Mean, we... I didn't even know you were coming. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, if they would have, somebody would have been like, let's call the police or something. Something like that, and then yeah, I would have stayed there, no license or not, because then pretty much I'd have been in the same situation I am now, except with these, and I stuck them on my back. Exactly. exactly. I mean, yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah, you had a ticket. I mean, yeah, though. I mean, but I went on about my way, though. I mean, I didn't, you know, think nothing was wrong or anything like that, like I'm telling you. Well, obviously, so, you, you thought something was up. Why don't you just come out and talk I to us? I you talking to man, because I never really needed a cigarette at that point in time, and I was actually going to the store, and I was going to walk right back down here, because you're in front of my house, and I was stuck anyway, and I'm not going anywhere. So you're... you're... You're climbing out, climbing out to go get a cigarette instead of just I'm coming out go get a pack and of just come out the front door and say, I mean, "Hey, look, I'm Larry. Right something, something, there's something here. happened back there. Let me explain I mean, to I was you my side." Walk right back down here. And take care of it. But now, most people, when they go to get back a pack of cigarettes, they leave their house. They usually no. come out the front door or the back door. So we're I mean, just trying I'm to understand. All we're trying to do is all we're trying to do is understand is try to understand why why you're doing what you're doing. And I told you, and I'm I'm telling exactly everything I told you is the truth. I mean, flat out. I mean, it may be up sound or however you may put it but I mean that's I right. think it's just true well what you should have done what you really should have done okay is you should have just you should have just waited me. okay you should have just waited. I didn't I didn't know you were coming or I mean anything like that like I told you I was completely stopped I mean. all right well like you said you know you wouldn't be sitting here with handcuffs in your back yeah. and those barbs stuck in you yeah yeah you know, you'd still end up getting a ticket you know what you're gonna get now and you're gonna have you know you're gonna have to uh, there's gonna be some more serious charges now like what I'm resisting arrest for one. How's that? You're taking off running from us. Well, all right. You're not at fault for for the crash, okay? Uh, that's what his investigation turned up. Uh, but you are going to get cited for driving under suspension and resisting, okay? All right. Let's we'll have a seat in there. He's saying he was just just leaving the house to go get a pack of cigarettes. But most people I know, when they leave their house, they usually go out the front door or the back door. Yeah, just ironic. He's not the fault in the auto accident. So, but. Yeah, it's like, and, and, and that's the other thing, you know? Like you say, he's not in fault at the crash. Had he just stayed there, yeah, he'd got a ticket. But he'd been on his way. But he would have been on his way. Exactly. Instead, now he's on his way to jail. Correct. All right, tonight my partner and I are doubled up working with the uh, Southwest District Crime Suppression Team. We're going to be focusing our enforcement efforts here on the uh, Parkway Motel Drive area. 
particular part of town is known for its uh, high amount of uh, prostitution and moderate to high amount of uh, narcotic activity. There's probably going to be a lot of uh, customers and a lot of uh, uh, working girls out here, and hopefully a lot of drugs out here that we can maybe intercept. Dave, hey, check out this car over here, right there. There, there, he is. there you go. That's. I'm not sure. I, I, I know this person is. All, All right. right, we got our in. One of our uh, players out here that we've been dealing with for quite some time, uh, we've been running across this individual on a number of occasions. So we'll see what uh, he's got going on. He's got a John in the vehicle. <clears throat> How you doing, sir? Pretty good. You mind stepping out of the car for me? Oh, hey! Hi, baby. How you doing? You can, can just relax. Off? No, Come it's on. all right. Just hang out. Hang, hang, hang that for just one second here. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Do you have any weapons on you? No. I'm going to check you for weapons. Hey, Dave, if you want to pull him to the back over there. What's that? If you want to pull him over there. Charlene, right? Uh-huh. Okay. You prefer I, I, I refer to you as Charlene? Uh-huh, delicious. Oh. Charlene or delicious? Uh-huh, all that. You would just pick me up right here and I'll give you a ride. I'll bring you a ride? I want to go get my sister. Okay. So, do you know her name? No, I told you. I just picked her up right now. I'm the to give her a ride. Give her a ride. Where exactly did you pick her up? Right on the bridge. So on Belmont. She bothered you for a ride for two blocks? No, well she yeah, she pulls it, she goes, well she, she look, she's a chick. And I go, oh, okay, so I'll pull pull over. And she goes, Can you give me a ride to my sister? And I go, Your sisters? I said, Well, no, sir, I'm, sister, I'm not sir, I'm that's not fine. that's fine. Look, I know who she is. Yeah. You know what she is. I know Don't, yeah. listen. You know what she is, I know what she is, okay? So that ride about giving her, the story about giving her a ride and not to her sense house, and you just have to turn around here. Listen to me, I'm not buying it, okay? Well, that's what happened. It's not my first job, it's not my first night in the district, okay? okay? Right, right, I know right. what happens out here. He was being a gentleman, though, that man. Oh, was he? Offering me a ride. Oh, he offered you a ride? Where'd he pick you up at again? Over there by Texas, huh? Ah, by down at the gas station, huh? Not at the, I was walking. But... Oh, were you? There ain't nothing wrong with getting a ride, honey, when I need a ride. No, nothing wrong with it at all. I mean, well, it's kind of strange that you kind of park right here in this little area. You got to give area. my number. Oh. And that's why, honey, we, and, and I was waving and everything. Oh, is that right? Mm-hmm. I'll write down my number for him. He can have it. Oh. Hello. Did you know she was a prostitute? Did I you, didn't know. I, no. Did I you didn't think know. she was a prostitute? Yeah, I thought she might okay. be. Yeah. And did you, at any point, start to talk to her about exchange of money no. for services rendered? No. Did you guys mention anything about no. any sex acts? You admit, though, when you picked her up, I was on your mind. Well, of course, yeah, it was a woman. I thought it was a woman. You thought it was a prostitute? I thought it could have been a prostitute, yeah. I that was that you were okay with that? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay. Have you ever used a prostitute before? Yeah. Okay. All right, hang tight. Let's see if it matches up. You ready to come out? You can go ahead and just leave your gear right over there for me. There you go. Turn around for a minute. Put your hands right here and smell your back. Separate your feet for me. Separate. There you yeah. go, just like that's fine. And I'm going to jail for it? Well, we'll see what we're going to do here in a minute, okay? Right now, you're being arrested for uh, loitering for the purposes... No, he, I was in loitering. Prostitution. You're just letting you know. Let us answer. Just letting you know why you're under arrest right now, okay? Why don't you come over here for me? I'm going to have you just relax here in the front of my patrol car, okay? Arthur, is there anything illegal in your car? Yes, I'll stay here in a minute. I got some pot in there. You got some weed in there? Marijuana? How much? 14 pounds? No. A little bit? Yeah. Like how much? I got a joint rolled in uh, on the gear shift. Is there anything else in there? No. no. Okay. And did you put a plane in the Hey, can you watch him? This uh, driver of the vehicle allowed us consent to search his vehicle. That's kind of stopped in the middle of the road. It's not parked against the curb line. Uh, this is a uh, area where there's always lots of prostitution activity, which is one of the reasons why we even uh, search here. So when we contacted them, their stories didn't match up, which uh, is to be expected. These people don't know each other. And uh, this uh, driver of the vehicle told us that we would find marijuana in the car, which he had under the driver's seat, along with a pipe and some rolling papers. So he'll be uh, arrested for that right now. I'm going to uh, arrest him real quick. OK. Arthur, can you lean forward, please? Just lean forward. Put your hands behind your back. Is 
This is for the possession of marijuana in the vehicle, okay? It's a little stick knife here. It's pretty common for these individuals to arm themselves for protection, especially given the fact that we have uh, a lot of uh, incidents. That's exactly right. We have a, a homicide just occurred about a month ago whereby someone found out that he was really a he and not a she. Okay, well, can we go now? We're going to go to jail? Ready to go to jail? Uh-huh. Thank okay. you. Let's put it in the back of our right. You're going to be booked in a Fresno County jail for loitering for the purpose of prostitution. Do you understand that? Watch your head on the way in. If we leave you out here, Charlene, oh. it's just a matter of time until someone hurts you. Do you understand? They're going to be surprised. Sit sideways. It's probably more comfortable. Oh. You're going to end up surprising them, and they're going to take it out on you. Do you understand that? Uh-huh. Okay, can we go now? Yeah, we're leaving. Are there, yeah. you realize that uh, today, you know, without knowing that you pick up a, uh, a man who was dressed as a woman and working as a prostitute. You're aware of that, right? I and, and, and I understand why you, you know, picked him up and I understand that happens out here. But do you think you might have gotten upset when you discovered his true identity? Do you, you think there might have been an altercation in the car where one or both of you might have gotten hurt? Uh, no. Uh, you don't think you would have been upset? No. Had things progressed and then you found out? No. Can I expect to never see you out here on Parkway you again? You expect to never see me out here again. Do you, you think you learned a lesson today, maybe? <laughs> Absolutely. I hope you have. This is dangerous stuff, and it's illegal I'm stuff. Yeah, I have. Been working uh, Lakewood Graves for a couple years now. Both Matt and I have been in Pierce County for about five years. We enjoy uh, working together, partnering up, uh, working graveyard, having fun, and it's a great crew, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, I've worked, I've worked day shift, swing shift, and graveyard here in, in Lakewood, and and easily I've had the most fun on graveyard because you get to have a partner in the car, you guys got that camaraderie that goes with it, you know, you get good war stories so everybody can laugh and tease each other, and you know, a lot of us have. Nick oh, whoa, wait, hey, hey, you see that motorcycle? Yeah. Where'd it go? Yeah, just right there, right up down the boulevard there. How do we look right? Uh, well, other than these people here, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Where'd he go? He was sweating the parking lot up there. He's Man, he's driving like a madman. Yeah. Oh, I think we got him. I think we yeah, got him. There he is, right there with the pole. All right, all right, he's, okay. Yeah, he's stopping. Okay. Right. I'm gonna stop this vehicle. This motorcycle yeah, here. Traffic. Parking lot. Five seven one. How you doing? You shut that off for me, okay? Let's go. Four Oaks County. He's taking off. <sighs> Going through the parking lot. <laughs> White male, got a red goatee. We're going southbound Bridgeport. <laughs> About 60 plus. Roads dry. Light traffic's light. <laughs> Got it. He just it. blew the light at 100. I got it. Oh, and he just got oh, some. He just bet it. He just, just bet, bet it. it. Where's he at? Medical aid. Where's, he at? Where's he at? Right, right straight ahead. <laughs> Talk to me, bud. Talk to me. Not good. Hey, hey go Talk check that guy back there. Go check him. Is he breathing? I don't think he's breathing. No. All right. Andy! Hey, Angel, go ahead and have him turn off his rig. Can you go ahead and turn off your truck, sir? Kind of give me a quick Reader's Digest version of what happened real quick. I started to pull out of the 7-Eleven uh, parking lot. Right here. And just barely got the corner of my truck out, and I went, oh, my God. I saw those lights coming fast. There's no way I can get out. Okay. okay. I just started out. He hit me. Okay. You did your best where. to turn and get out of the way? 
Oh, it just happened so, it happened so fast. He drove me this way. Okay. And then I got over a little bit a couple seconds later. Okay. All right. Just stay put. We'll have somebody with you in just a second. And they'll yeah, run you through I was the hole. just hole. coming to this lane anyway. Right. And I went, holy right. moly. Right. When I glanced right. and saw his lights. Okay. And I saw the light was red. Are you injured at all? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't think I, so? I had my seatbelt on. Okay. You feel fine? Yes. Sir. Okay. All right. Just, Thank you. Just shake it. <laughs> all righty. What's up, man? What happened? Uh, a motorcycle is the one you were chasing? Yeah, he took off. He got obviously way far in front of us. Uh huh. He busts through the stoplight here. He uh -huh. just goes right through it. This poor guy here, he's pulling out of the 7 Eleven. Before he knows it, wham. He got hit. He got hit. Okay. So the motorcycle hit the truck then? Yes. Okay. So he's he not hurt at all? He's not hurt. He says he's fine, but we'll have medical aid check him out, make sure everything's okay. Yeah, we, checked out. we don't have any witnesses that saw anything. They just heard a crunch. Oh, that was it. Quick. Okay. Hold on a second. Well, they're doing good. They got the guy breathing. The right one's totally They'll probably uh, get life flight here soon. Get him up to Harborview in Seattle and and uh, let those doctors do their magic and work on him. And hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll be okay. This this is unfortunate, but this is what happens sometimes. And uh, I, I just I'm just thankful again that that nobody else was injured. No innocent people. That bike is tore up. That's what happens when. Uh, a motorcycle in, in excess of 100 miles an hour clips another vehicle. Um, pretty much a zero chance of survivability on one of these things. Uh, I've seen numerous accidents, and uh, especially with these motorcycles, your chances aren't that good. Not when you're driving like that. Uh, you can see the helmet's actually split in half. He took probably the first impact directly in the center of his head. And just split that right up, and then Is you that can. the front or the back? That's the back of the helmet. So he took, he skidded on his back quite a ways. It's probably how his his uh, right leg got wrapped underneath him. They've been working pretty hard on him. They're going to get him, hopefully. To, I'm guessing they're going to try and get him to a major trauma center, which means they're going to have to bring a helicopter in. Fortunately for him, the hospital's about five blocks from here, so they can run him down and. If uh, they're going to have life flight started already, get him, up to, here get him up to Harborview in Seattle and let the docs work on him up there. Yeah. It's three misdemeanor warrants for traffic. He had a neg driving one and uh, he had uh, a DUI. I'm not sure what the third one was for, but all that trouble over that. All that trouble over that. All right. Well, they're going to get the rest of that stuff out of here and investigators can do the rest of their Is that his driver's too. license? Yeah. All right. Looks like it's been punched. Yeah, that's for his uh, DUI conviction. So, or at least one of his DUIs. Like we were talking about his driving. Well, this is unfortunate, and uh, unfortunately, when we chase people, this is always a risk that happens. And uh, this individual made this uh, choice to do that, and hopefully, he'll be okay.